It's happening on an isolated island. It's happening in a small town. It's happening just past a remote park. Isolated. So why are these women laughing? Peaceful. So why is this man running? And what does fate hold for the people in this town? What fate holds is a party for Bill and Joanne Champagne, owners of A and B, the island's supermarket in Grand Isle, 2003 VGA Retailer of the Year. A and B goes back to the early 20th century. It started out with my grandfather and grandmother having a store years ago. This photo shows back in the early 1900s, and it was a gas station with a small store at, at the home. And there was a fire at this home back in the early 1900s, and it was rebuilt. It became Champagne's Grocery, then Bill's folks opened Keeler's Bay Variety Store. And it was a split-level house, and it was a two-car garage on the lower half. Soon they were building again. Bill cut meat with his dad. Um, we used to bone out uh, chucks and sirloins and all kinds of meat. It was all bone in, hanging beef back then. Bill graduated from UVM in environmental studies and soil science, but jumped at the opportunity to work with his father. The pair bought the vacant Russo Brothers car dealership and turned it into the new store for Grand Isle. They transformed it year after year, celebrating their 20th anniversary in the building in 2001. One spring in March 31st, um, the water, of course, lots of rain run off in the springtime and the water kind of made itself onto Route 2, so we took a piece of plywood and made a uh, plywood champ and put them in the, in the uh, ditch to show the state and show folks and uh, what the water problem was doing. It was uh, actually the champ was living in a ditch in front of A&B. Bill Champagne is a master of change. We just purchased a new Rourke system from, from Associated Groceries. It's a scan system with the backrooms operation as well, with the PC and the uh, handheld FM scanner to do the DSD uh, operation. We have like 20 doors, 20 walk-in doors for beverages in the store. And we ex expanded, recently expanded the wine selection to, um, we doubled our wine selection last summer, which made a huge difference in wine sales. In 1985, a new walk-in cooler with their personal imprint in the concrete. This cooler was built in 422, 1985. A few years after we were open, it's a self-contained valley cooler. Here's my meat, the meat case. This case is new, uh, again, about three or four years ago. The new uh, freezer case was um, three years ago. The coffee bar, um, this was added six or seven years ago. This is the deli. The sandwich bar at A&B. &B. And here's Lisa. Hi, Lisa. This is our meat shop. This is my meat man, Kevin Sandra. Kevin, how you doing? Three years ago, we decided to get into the uh, hardware and feed business. Actually, the hardware is about a year old, but the feed business is more like four or five years old. This was uh, this is a remodeled woodshed. It used to be our woodshed where we stored our wood, and we remodeled the woodshed to uh, accommodate the uh, large bags of feed. Um, a few years back, we put a new building up here at A and B, and we have A and B Redemption Center. And now we have A and B feeds and sporting goods and hardware. It's not just growth that makes A and B this year's retailer of the year. It's buying Vermont. We purchase uh, seasonal produce from local growers as much as we can. I mean, it's it's a great business to have in the summertime. The store is heated completely by wood, and uh, we burn between 12 and 15 cords of wood a year, and it heats the entire store. All wood we that's purchased from Vermont. Yeah, Matt Gillian from Fairfax, Vermont, and he supplies us with our wood. My wife came to work for us four years ago, and since she's been here at work, and her office is right next to the wood stove, we now burn like 15 cords of wood a year because she's filling the wood stove every minute of the day. Oh, well, I've been at a &B now uh, full-time five years, and uh, before that, part-time uh, five years, since Bill and I've been married, and I uh, came to A&B for more hours and less money. Joanne is a member of the Chamber of Commerce, was secretary and treasurer of the fire department, and the first non-family and bilingual employee of a and B. The beauty spot of Vermont, so it's called. Not sure how it got its name, but um, I think it only takes a moment to look and see. I mean, we hear it all summer long and all fall, 
people come and go, my gosh, you live here, how fortunate. So here's why they call it the beauty spot of Vermont. Um, out in the front parking lot of a &B Beverage, you look across east and you see the beautiful Mount Mansfield on this wonderful fall day with the white tips of the mountain with a little bit of snow from last night. And of course, the foliage is just starting to come up here. People, when they come through the islands and they come through South Hero, Grand Isle, North Hero, Alberg, Isle of Mott, they soon quickly realize that it is a beauty spot of Vermont with the Lake Champlain and the wonderful islands in the center of Lake Champlain and the uh, pastures with the, with the Holsteins uh, in the pastures and these beautiful barns and old homes. Years ago, it was, oh my God, you live out in the islands? Now they go, oh my gosh, how can I get there? How can I live there? How can I, you know, move to the islands? Um, so I think it's taken a while. It's like a Caribbean island. Till it gets discovered, nobody wants to go. When it gets discovered, everybody wants to be here. So I think that's how uh, the beauty spot of Vermont has, maybe not everyone has caught up with it yet, and that's okay. And where was that guy running to? Being a member of the volunteer fire department for the last 35 years, and chief for the last uh, eight years here at Grand Isle. It's a huge part of my life here. Bill has been here all of his life um, and has worked in the communities, South Hero, Grand Isle, all of his life, and has done a lot of, of um, community service and community work. So I got my start in the store business back with my grandfather when I was just a uh, youngster and then grew up with my parents in the business at the Killer Bay store. And there he is today with Joanne and Michelle. Thanks to my mom and dad for all they've done to make this a successful business and make me successful in the business that we're in, me and my wife. So um, this is a, quite a tribute to me, but uh, also a huge tribute to my father and my mom, and especially to my dad. In Grand Isle, the beauty spot of Vermont, A and B, the island's supermarket, the 2003 VGA Retailer of the Year.